Hello and welcome. I'm going to take a second to set up the live on my iPad while people start to come in. Oh, let's see, reload. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Hello, everyone. Thank you all so much for coming to my live demo today. My name is Allie G, otherwise known as Allie G Nail Artistry, and I am super excited to come on here today and teach you guys a few little tips and tricks that you can add to your nail art toolbox. So without further ado, I am going to flip the camera over and we're going to get you all set up. Hi, Christical. Hi, Josiah. Hi, Allison. I'm so happy to have you guys here. Okay, let's figure out how to switch this. And then I'll pop you in here. Okay. And then I'm going to zoom a bit in. I think that... We'll make sure that this is proper. Okay, I think that's good. You can see my crystals in the background. Okay, <laughs> okay, perfect. So this is the design we're doing today and it is a mixture of a terrazzo tile pattern along with some abstract nails in some muted primary colors. So I chose this design because I could show you guys a couple different techniques and also it's something that can be super versatile and you can change the colors of this design to whatever color palette you're working with. You could even do like all gray tones or all nude tones. You can do whatever you like. So we're going to hop right into it and I'm going to start off with the terrazzo tile nail. So put this off to the side and I have prepped a ugly duckling tippies to get started with and if you're doing this on a client basically you would want to start with a nail that just has a thin base so you don't want to build up a full sculpted nail because everything is kind of going to be um, inlaid and encapsulated so it's going to add some thickness to the design all right so first things first let me get here we're going to use the milky white gel from Ugly Duckling and we're going to use the gel brush and we're simply going to where are we here there we go we're simply going to just almost paint on a thin layer to start so we're going to take this and we're just going to spread it over the entire nail. It doesn't have to be perfect. We're just looking to get a little bit of a base layer with a little bit of color. So just keep on spreading that. The Milky White is not super self-leveling, so you can just kind of push it to where you need it to be. I kind of like to just paint it on. So we're going to paint that on. And then once we are happy with it, we're going to pop it in the lamp for about 30 seconds. Perfect. Okay, so that's going to cure. And while that's curing, take a look at the comments. Hello, Vanessa. Hi, Maria. I am so nervous, but also super excited. <laughs> I'm glad that you guys are all here today to watch this demo. Um, I hope that you guys try this design on yourself or on your clients, and I hope that you really enjoy doing it because I know I have... A lot of fun creating this design. Okay, 30 seconds is up. So now we're going to have a base that is like this and we're going to put this off to the side because now we need to create the little pieces that are in the terrazzo pattern. So what you'll need is 
plastic sheets just like this and you can get these from like the box of like croissants or cookies that you get at the grocery store you can just cut out a piece you can use any type of like clear plastic basically so we're gonna put this down and we're going to take a color so this one's number 66 it's like a terracotta color and I'm just going to place a small amount we don't need much just like that and then we will add some clear sculpting gel to the mix. So let's do that with our gel brush. So you just need like a dollop like this and place it on there. And then I'm going to grab my Omni tool to mix these together. The reason why we're adding the clear gel is because we actually want some thickness to these pieces and it actually helps this cure a little bit better as well. So we're just going to mix it here and just like that. Next, to add a little bit of dimension, what we're going to do is we'll add another color of your choice, and I'm just going to use number 92, this like nude color, and what I'm going to do is I'll take my Omni brush and just kind of take a little bit and just kind of make little lines through, and we're just going to slightly mix it. We don't want it very mixed at all. We want to see the variation of color. Mm -hmm. There we go. And then once you have that, you can take your other piece and you're just going to place that on top and you'll see it settles in. You don't want to squish it because you still want to keep some thickness. So I'll try and pick that up nice and carefully. Get you guys a better look. So you can see the, hopefully, the colors there. So this is going to cure in the lamp for about 30 seconds. There we go. So while this cures, I will show you guys what I have done behind the scenes. Um, I created basically a bunch of these little colors just like this. And you'll see what we're doing is once we get these out, we're going to be cutting them into little shapes. So once it comes out in 30 seconds, you're going to take it and you're going to flip it and cure the other side to make sure it cures all the way through for another 30 seconds in the lamp. How's everyone doing today? I hope you guys are all enjoying the day of demos. We have a long day ahead of us. It's going to be a fun day. Okay, so that should be good. I hope I'm not too impatient, but here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these apart and it just peels off like that. And we can use our tweezers just to peel it off. So now we have this like basically piece of plastic that we can inlay into the nail. And honestly, like your clients will be amazed when you do this because this is something that you don't see every day, right? So we're just going to take our scissors and I like to cut it in half first so I can cut little like triangle bits and pieces. You want to try and be as um, I guess, what's the word? Like, as wild as possible, just different sizes, different shapes. You don't want it to all be uniform because terrazzo is a bunch of different shapes and sizes. Place it more in the center. Okay, sorry about that. I forgot the comments take up the bottom half of the screen. So you get the point there. We have a bunch of little pieces. 
So we're going to take these and we're just going to place them in our tray of made pieces. And we're going to work from here. Okay. So bring back in our nail that we have. And we're going to take some tacky top coat. And we're just going to brush on a thin layer. Make sure I have the right bottle. Okay. So paint this on nice and thin. You could also do a thin layer of clear gel, whatever you prefer. And then now is the fun part because we can start to apply these pieces that we made onto the nail. Okay, so I'm using my blinger tool from Ugly Duckling and I'm just going to start placing the little shapes everywhere. And this doesn't have to be perfect by any stretch because we're going for an abstract look. So when I place my colors, I like to make sure that the variations of colors are balanced, but not necessarily, you know, perfect and symmetrical. We just kind of want it to be, so there's not like all the blue in one spot and all the yellow in one spot. We want to spread them around as much as possible. And also spreading around the sizes as well. Just take your time adding these pieces. I did a combination here of pieces that were mixed together, like how I showed you guys. And then I also have some where I just did solid colors, just to add some variation. And just keep on going until you're happy and you've filled all your spots. There we go. I'm trying to decide what color I want in there. Maybe I'll spread these green ones. And then put maybe a blue no here's where I'm gonna get a little picky I guess <laughs> okay maybe a nude okay let's find a neutral one in here okay I found one yes right there these can be as spread out or as packed in as you want it to be I've tried both. Both looks good. One great way to get inspiration is Pinterest, of course. I go on there and I search terrazzo tile and that's how I kind of found like a lot of different color palettes to use. There's lots of different color variations that you can use for this design. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. So we're going to cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds. Perfect. Okay. I hope that I'm explaining this well and I hope you guys are enjoying it. Let me know if you have any questions at all while this is curing, I can answer. Thank you so much, Daisy. Perfect. Uh, thank you for the likes and the hearts. I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Next. What we're going to do is we're going to take our Ugly Duckling gel brush and our Milky White again. And the first thing we're going to do is take just a little bit of our product and we're going to brush it 
over the entire nail. And when you're doing this, you really want to be careful to um, like make sure you're pushing the product in between all the spaces or else you will get some air bubbles. Sometimes the air bubbles are unavoidable. Oh, I got fluffs. Get rid of these fluffs. There we go. Okay. Sometimes the air pockets are unavoidable, but I found that this is the best method to counteract it. So instead of just placing a thick layer of the milky white right on top, I make sure that I really like press it in between all of the pieces. Just brushing it in, kind of massaging it in a way in between all those pieces. Oh, sorry, going off the screen again. And all the colors that I used for this design, I did put in the description in case you are wondering. Okay. So now that I have like a thin layer over all of them, I'm just going to give it a like 10 second flash cure. And then once that comes out, then we can do another full layer. Perfect. Okay. All right. So we have this now. Let's let's uh, kind of sculpt on top of here. So I usually grab a little bit more than I think I'll need, just so I can be able to. I find it's easier to take off than add more. Make sure there's no fluffs. Oh no. <laughs> okay. It's fluff city over here. Okay. All right. So we're going to just place that on there. And when you do sculpt on top of here, I know that it's not easy to make it completely smooth. And you don't have to. Just try as best as you can. Obviously, because you're sculpting on a uneven surface, you're going to not get it perfect. We're going to be filing all of this down later, so as long as you get somewhat where you want to go, you're doing good. Now it may look like we just covered up our entire design, but we are going to do the reveal when we file everything. You'll see just how it all comes together. Okay. So in the lamp for a full cure. I love doing designs like this because you're able to get a lot of depth and dimension and also um, it's kind of a better way than painting. So if you were painting all these triangles, it would be a lot of work and I find that this is easier just to inlay the design. Okay, let's take that out, and we're just going to wipe off the dispersion layer. And we can file, so I'll take it off of my tip. Let's get rid of the stickiness on it, there we go. Okay, now we're going to file with the Ugly Duckling Medium Coarse file. I'm going to start off with the coarse side just to get down the bulk of everything. So, I like to start with the sides. 
you can already see the pattern start to come through. And then we'll thin out the top. You can also use an e-file for this part, whatever you're most comfortable with. popping through now. <laughs> the glove. See how the design is coming through? The colors? Oh, that's just so exciting. This is, to me, the most satisfying part. to the medium grit. For the purposes of this video, I'm not going to try and be extremely nitpicky with my filing, because <laughs> I could honestly file forever, trying to make everything perfect. So using the medium, this will help get rid of any like scratches we made, smooth everything out a bit more, refine the shaping. And then we will take it one step further and we will grab our medium coarse buffer. So starting on the coarse side, just going to run through that real quick. Whoops, dropped it, fell out of my hand. <laughs> And we'll go over to the medium. I just love the reveal. Oh, this is so satisfying. You can kind of see there's like still a little bit of air pockets, but if we didn't do that first step, it would have been a lot worse. I learned that the hard way by doing it myself. <laughs> okay, we'll get rid of all this dust. And you guys can see the nail here. So I'm just going to take a brush with some alcohol and just brush off all that dust. want to make sure that all the dust is out, especially in those little air pockets. They can kind of gather dust inside them and we don't want that. that back on there. Perfect. So, now that we got that on there, we're going to take some black, number 43 gel polish, and the number 44, and we're going to place that onto the crystal palette. So one drop right there. And another drop right there. And now we're going to do what I think is a really fun part. Just take a nail brush and we're going to go ahead and dip it into the black. So I like to dip it in, tap, 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 and then I tap it a little bit on the palette to get rid of some of it. And so it should look like, kind of like that on your brush. 
And then I will hold the brush kind of at the end here. And so it's held pretty loosely. And I just kind of bounce it on top of the nail. Just like you're lightly bouncing it. See if this happens, that's okay. Sometimes abstract. It's too abstract. <laughs> we don't want that on there. Okay. Tap, tap, tap. You can add as little or as much as you like. Perfect. Alrighty. So that can go into the lamp for a flash cure. take that out and we'll use actually the white for the other nails but now this nail is basically complete all we need to do is add some bling no nail would be complete without a little bit of bling so right now we have the ugly duckling clear as mud and I'm also going to be using some gold elements as well you never guess to use a brush? Well, actually, you can even use a toothbrush if you want to, like a, a toothbrush, scrub brush, any brush. Even a, a messed up art brush that's all frayed up, you could try that too. There's lots of different things that you could use. Okay, so we have our stick it. Oh, take that off. Stick it off to the side. And the blinger tool, of course. So. I'm gonna try, make sure we stay on the screen with this. Okay, so first things first, I'm just going to put a dot of stick it in the middle. And I will grab one of my rings, place that right in the center. And then I'll grab a crystal that fits right in the middle, pop that in there. And if you want, you can flash cure, which I'll do right now, just with my little flashlight guy. Okay. And now we'll do the one on the top and the bottom. Same idea, we're just kind of making a circle of the sticket, and now we're going to use two smaller size hoops. Right there. And then, oops, turn off my light. There we go. Same thing. Fill it with a crystal. Let's see. I don't know about you guys, but I am extremely excited about the new crystals coming out in March. I honestly can't even wait. I 100% will be filling my cart. I can't, um... I can't even express how obsessed I am with the Ugly Duckling crystals. Like, I've never found a such a good quality crystal that isn't Swarovski, basically. Like, this has been all I've been using lately. I just want to bling out everything. Actually, in fact, I plan on blinging out one of my nail brushes with Ugly Duckling crystals. I just want the whole brush to be crystals. <laughs> so, we'll see how that goes. I bought some epoxy the other day. I just have never used epoxy before, so if you have any tips, leave them in the comments. <laughs> oh, I keep on turning off my light. Sorry, guys. So now I'm just adding these little caviar gold beads at the bottom and the top. Which is not easy when you're nervous and shaking. <laughs> okay. There we go. 
just going to put them on there and then we'll straighten them out afterwards. Okay. Move that off to the side. And just adjust to where you want it to go. Perfect. Uh, almost. There we go. Okay, so the next step that we can do, and I'd like to get your guys' opinion, is we can either top coat it with shiny or matte, and I want to know what you guys would think would look better, because I was honestly going kind of back and forth between the two, and I really couldn't decide. So this is what shiny looks like. What do you guys think? Shiny or matte? You can kind of see what this one looks like matte already. Do we have a preference? I see matte. No wipe. Okay. We're one for one. <laughs> matte. Oh, I have a feeling you guys might choose matte. Matte. Okay. We're getting matte. We'll do it. <laughs> okay let's grab it out so I love this matte top coat it's honestly the best it's award winning so I mean obviously it's the best and it's just like the perfect velvety smooth finish so what I want to do is just basically paint around the crystals that we did just like this and we're not getting all the way because we're going to use our painter brush afterwards to get right in there. So this covers the majority of the nail. And then I'm going to put a little dollop on my crystal palette. And grab the painter brush. Perfect. So this guy. This guy is my favorite for doing this exactly. I do this with all my crystals. I just butt up the top coat right up to the crystals so that way any exposed sticket is covered. And also just kind of like reinforce the sides. If you are super steady and you can get the polish brush in there, I say go for it, but I find that this is the most accurate way that I've found without getting any top coat onto the actual crystals. Okay, awesome. Let's cure that and we'll get our matte reveal in 30 seconds. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> this is really awesome. Coming together. So what time are we at? How long has it been? Okay, it's only been half an hour, so we will have time to do the other nail, so let's definitely get that coming up next. I see a lot of people voted for Matt, so I'm glad we did that. But you guys can see what it looks like shiny anyway, so you can kind of do either or that you prefer. I guess Terrazzo Tile, I don't know, I've seen it shiny and I've also seen it matte, so it honestly could be anything. Okay, enough rambling. Let's wipe off the dispersion layer. Ready for the reveal? Okay, there we go. I love it. Yeah. Good choice, guys. My crystals are a little crooked, but, you know... Just do better than that. <laughs> okay, we have that one done. Let's go on to the next nail. So here we're doing the abstract accent nail. So I'm going to do it with... Let's use the mustard yellow because honestly this is one of my must-have favorite colors. So number 166. And... This is super easy, super simple. You guys will be able to rock this out in the salon in no time. So just take your brush, press it down so it comes to a curve. You see how it's kind of like a curve?
curve and then you're just going to pull down. Pull down, pull down. There you go. Super simple, super easy. Make sure the sides are wiped off and into the lamp. Perfect. I agree, Christina. It is nice to see the difference because, you know, it's it's so hard to de decide sometimes whether you want matte or shiny. And sometimes when I have clients, I'll just, like, do their pinky matte so they can see what it looks like. And then we hum and haw about it for, like, ten minutes. <laughs> it's nice to be able to, to see the differences. There we go. Okay, 30 seconds. Good. And second coat. Apply it nice and thin. Okay, back in the lamp. There we go. The coverage of this yellow is so good, like honestly. Um, I could not get enough of it this fall. I just wanted to put it on every single person. Like anyone I could convince to wear this color, they were getting it. It is my new must-have favorite. <laughs> okay, we'll make sure we get a full cure on that. So keep on reading comments. 166 is popular with your clients too. That's awesome. Yeah. It, like I said, it's a must-have. You need it. If you don't have it, you need it. I'll take a second to close my stick it. Make sure I don't drop anything like last time. <laughs> All right. Take this out of the lamp. It's been in there for 60 seconds. Now, next step is we are going to grab our gel brush. Oh my gosh, I just closed this jacket and now we need it. What was I thinking? Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit of this jacket. And I'm going to just kind of brush it on at the top of the nail and overlapping a little bit into the middle. Okay, so just like that into the lamp. Now I can close it, and we're going to be using some gold foil. So you can either use this kind of foil, like the transfer foil, or you can use like the, the crunched up foil, either or. Work amazingly well. I do really like using this with the Stick-It. I think it works really well. Okay, so that was in there for... 30 seconds and I just like to let it cool down if you guys are finding that your transfer foils aren't going on really well um, my biggest tip what I've learned is I find to let the the um, the, the stick it to kind of cool down a little bit okay so now we're just going to lightly tap see it just went on super well like easy peasy and I kind of want it on there haphazardly, abstract. There we go. That was so easy. Perfect. Now, back to our palette. And our brush. Oh, why can't I see my... Oh, there it is. Okay, so. Brush. Tap it in there. Tap, tap, tap. Same thing. And we're just tapping this all over. Oh, need a little bit more. I love this technique. It's so much fun. It's so easy. Everyone has toothbrushes, right? 
an extra toothbrush that you need, haven't used, just lying around, or maybe an extra manicure brush. It all works so perfectly. Okay, so you can kind of see how much I put on there. There we go. I do really like the stick it for applying my transfer foils. Um, it does apply really well, especially when it's in the super liquidy state. And um, yeah, I my biggest tip is just to let it cool down basically after it comes out of the lamp. Instead of buying a second product, you can just use a product you already have. Oops. Man down. Okay. So I'm just gonna wipe off the brush as best as I can. Clean it off a little bit. Because next we're gonna go in with the white. Okay. Here we go. Use the separate corner of it. I need more. I need a little bit more. There we go. Let's turn the palette around. Now tap, tap it on. Just a little bit is all you need. Perfect. Okay, so pop that into the lamp and cure. I guess now the question is, do I make this one matte or shiny? Maybe I'll do shiny because I did the other one matte. And for all the people who said no wipe, you will get to see the no wipe top coat in all its glory. Perfect. Okay. Oh, wait. Okay. So, first, before we apply it, we're going to add another crystal because why not? So, we're going to do just a simple circle right there. And the hoop, just like we did before. And a crystal in the middle. Make sure it's centered. Sometimes I like to flip the nail over just to make sure it's nice and center. Perfect. In the lamp she goes. Yeah, this this is from my the tip display set. This guy. I love it. Highly recommend. I have two sets, actually, <laughs> so I can be able to do more nails at once. It's a must-have for sure. Okay, ready. And now the last step is to apply our top coat. So we'll use the, the non-white, or sorry, yeah, no white. And with this one, when it's just one crystal, I feel like it's pretty easy enough to kind of get right up to the edges. Well, okay, so if you're with a client, obviously you can't get up to the cuticle. So I'll show you what I would do if we were doing this on a client. So again, we just use our painter brush. Bring it back here. See how perfectly it fits. Easy peasy. 
love that. I just like to let it settle a little bit before I put it in the lamp. There she goes. And as you can see, that was done really quickly. Like, it doesn't take that long at all for this design, but it just complements everything really nicely. So, I hope that you guys try out this design. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a thing or two. Even if you take one technique from this live, I think that you are going to be winning and you're going to be doing an awesome job with your clients and really wowing them and surprising them with your new fun techniques that they've never had done before. So let's take this out and we'll display it together. There we go. There's everything together. Thank you guys all so much for coming. Thank you Priscilla. Thank you Allison. Thank you Natasha. Thank you so much guys. I love you all, and I hope that we can do this again soon. My Instagram is at Allie G. Neal Artistry if you want to come check me out. And until next time, I'll be signing off. See you guys later.